How's it going guys? Today I got another case review for you. This time on the in-case perforated slider case for the iPhone 4. Um, this does work with both AT&T and Verizon versions as well as the international version. Um, like I said it is for the iPhone 4. I picked this case up at Best Buy for $34.99 and it is a pretty pricey it's pretty pricey for what you give it the case, um, which I'll get to later. Um, I would have liked to see it to be the, the price to be brought down a little bit, just because um, thirty four ninety nine is paying is pretty steep price for a iPhone four case. Um, normally, the best price is around like twenty five dollars, twenty to twenty five. So, uh, but they have a they have two versions of this case. It's black and white, as well as a non perforated case. For any for many other colors, but I chose to get the white perforated because I like the design and I like the white color on the black iPhone. Um, so let's go ahead and pop into this case. All you guys got to do to open it is just pull it out like that, and then there's the case itself. And then here's the stand I was talking about. It's a little plastic stand, and then your instruction card. And then here's the case, and all you got to do is just slide it off like that. And as you guys see, you get nothing else with it. It's just a little pamphlet on uh, about in case other products and stuff they have. It's a little in case symbol. Um, so it says, We are committed to protecting the technology that enriches your life. We create pro products that reflect our passion for design, innovation, and personal expression. We are in case a better experience through good design. So, what you guys get with this case is it's a slider style case, as you guys can tell. Um, Let's go over the back first. The back has a perforated design on it. Um, it's got these little holes. They're kind of, you can kind of feel them. It's a pretty cool feeling in the hand. It also allows for good grip. Um, with it being a glossy uh, finish to it, you need a good grip. So that's what these uh, perf perforated holes help with. Um, one thing I like about this is that when it's on the phone, you can kind of see the apple through the holes, which is kind of cool looking. Um, one problem with this that some people can guess, but I've, it doesn't really have, cause a problem for me, but for other people, um, is that it can allow dirt to get onto the phone, on the back of the phone. With it being a, uh, with it being a case with holes, there is always a chance of dirt getting into the holes and stuff and onto the phone. Now, I've had some, a little bit of a problem with this, but nothing serious. Um, when I take my phone out of this case, after a day or something, I do see dust collecting on the back of the phone maybe indents of the circles on the back of the phone but those can easily be wiped off with a microfiber um, it's not going to from what I can tell it's not going to scratch the the dirt getting in the hole is not going to scratch the back of your iPhone but I mean if you want to be protected you can just get a back screen shield for it and no worries um, and as you guys can see the holes do go all the way around the case except for this little part which says in case right there but they go all the way around the case. So it is an awesome looking case, to be honest. Um, especially with the white case, you can see the black of the black iPhone through the hole, so it looks pretty cool. Um, so on the back here, you got your camera hole cutout. It is a pill-shaped cutout, and you can see it has a black ring around it, which can help prevent from washout in your pictures while having the flash on due to the glossiness of the case. If you use flash, it could bounce back and cause some washout, but since this black ring is there, there should be no problem with any of that. So that's a big plus for this case. Um, so let's go over the inside now. The inside, as you guys can see, is smaller holes. What they did is they made the bigger holes, and then they kind of creased them in and made them smaller, which helps less dirt get in. Um, it is very smooth on the inside here. Very smooth. However, it is just a plastic back, so that sliding on and off could cause some scratching on your phone. Now I've had no problem with it, but others might not be so lucky. So uh, this would be a good case to get a back screen shield with. Um, unfortunately, they did not come with the case, which kind of blows. But you know what can you do? So uh, let's go over the cutouts now. The bottom cutout right here is one big cutout for your 30 pin dock connector, your speaker, and your microphone. Um, there should be no problem getting any. Uh, Third-party cables in this. Um, I have a Gearware charger, and it's pretty big, but it can get in here. It can fit in there fine, so that should be no problem. The volume rocker and the vibrator switch cutout is also good sized. 
if you guys can see, it's a little bit recessed in there. So, um, all you gotta do is just kind of dig in there with your finger and flick it and stuff, and it, it'll, it should be fine. It's not too uh, recessed. On the top here, you got your cutout for your uh, headphone jack and your secondary microphone. It is a good size cutout. I can fit my Fanny Wing cable in there, as well as my cable for my car to listen to, my iPhone in the car. So that's a big plus. Also, you got your standby cutout, and that is a bit recessed as well, but there should be no problem getting in there. You just kind of push down a little bit. Um, so overall, guys, this case is pretty awesome. Like I said, I would like to see a screen shield included, maybe front and back. With this case, with it being thirty-four ninety-nine, it gets pretty expensive when you just get a little plastic stand. But uh, other than that, it's pretty cool. One problem I've heard with in-case sliders is that it can actually scratch the metal band on your phone when you're being put on. These little lips right there can scratch the metal band right there. Um, now, I've had no problem with it yet, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll do an update video on this um, later on if it does some does damage the phone. But uh, let's go ahead and get the stand out. What you get with the stand is a little plastic stand right there. As well as a little instruction thing, reversible stand. A better experience through a good design. So what this is, is just, you take the phone, and you can watch a movie. Let me insert this thing really fast. Alright, so, you're sitting there, you want to watch a movie. You can set it like that. Let's turn this around. We have two notches in this stand. I'm sorry, it's taking... There's one of them right there. That allows for easy watching access instead of having to hold it all the time. And you got this one right there, which is kind of more upright. So you got the more upright one, and then you got the more laid back one, which is what I would use. Um, it is a cool accessory with this case. Um, probably one of the reasons why this case is so expensive. Um, in case does include stands with all their slider cases. And maybe with their other cases as well, but I'm not sure. But, uh, it's a cool little feature. So, yeah, guys, it's going to do it for the in-case slider. The in-case perforated slider, actually. Um, overall, it's a pretty good case. I like I like it a lot. It's probably in my top five of cases. Um, still has not beat the case for Angara, though. So, uh, next time, we'll see you next time, guys.